right. It's true. Women's rights are human rights. I appreciate everyone being here. I really appreciate starting with that because that is actually at the core of what I need to talk about. The human rights framework, which gives us such an opportunity to talk about reproductive justice, not just rights. The justice part is when we think about reproductive rights and we mix it with social justice, we come to the conclusion that women, family, parents, queer, everyone has the right to decide how to build their family, when they build their family, and how they build their family. We have to talk about the global, the global gag rule just for a moment, even though it does not affect the United States, because it looks exactly like what is trying to happen to Planned Parenthood. If we mention the word abortion, you will not be able to get a measles shot. You will not be able to get HIV AIDS treatment. You will not be able to get a pap smear. You will not be able to have prenatal care. When you attack women's rights and only use abortion, you take away vital services for rural communities. That Flint, Michigan was not a mistake, but an attack against the black community. When we talk as a community together, we are able to talk about what it looks like to keep immigrant families together, to keep trans women safe in our community, and what it means to be working for a fair and livable wage. Right now, we are at the precipice of looking at a state senate bill that our governor so graciously has said that he will veto. Unfortunately, we do not have a House of Representatives that can do the same. It is all of our responsibility to make sure that children have a place in our homes that is safe, that is loving, that is activist-minded. Being a critical thinker is not something that we can guarantee underneath an authoritarian government. When you have a space that offers childcare, you are actively participating in reproductive justice. When you allow elders and men to walk around in pink hats, you are actively participating in reproductive justice. And when we have the ability to define our families and allow our sisters and brothers and aunties and cousins to come into this country and show us the way to love ourselves through our heritage, you are acting on reproductive justice. Every single executive order that will happen from this point forward will make sure that our families are not as strong as we intended them to be. It is important for you not just to know exactly what's happening on your watch, but Senate Bill SB3 went through with no public commentation. It is a 20-week abortion ban that will change the ability for people to be able to access healthy abortion, safe abortion, the safest procedure that we offer in the United States in an outpatient facility. It will also alter the ability for women who are having complications with their pregnancies to be able to take care of themselves, for people who live in rural communities to get a pap smear, and for someone who knows who they are to be able to transition. When we talk about changing this framework, it is just like Councilwoman said, and man, is she hard to follow. You have to know it in your heart. You have to know it in your heart. You have to know that clean water is a possibility and it is your right. Yes. You have to know that being able to tell people who you are and have them call you by that name is your birthright. Yes. And you have to know that the moment that we tell women that they are no longer in charge of their body and allow primarily white men to make rules about something that they've never experienced, that we are maybe heading down the wrong path. Yes. yes! I trust this community with the care of women. I trust this community with the care of people that are not ready to identify their gender. And I trust every single person to be able to lift their voice and acknowledge the fact that a women's march is not going to stop oligarchy. <laughs> Together, today, we stand united across so many different things to be able to say that we are a movement for justice. There is nothing else that we have to say in front of it. 
you can say it with me. We are a movement for justice. And there is nothing that we have to say in front of this. Thank you so much for your time. Different mentality today. It seems hard. It seems it seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything else is a challenge. Um, challenge. Um, so so I'm ready. I'm ready for this challenge. And I was built. I was built for this. I think that I think we all we all have a purpose in life. And mine and mine is going to take on a task that most that most of back away from, from. Back that impossible that people say is impossible I see possibilities I don't see anything I don't see anything as being impossible